So this is the entire code for the project. Let me begin implementing the code step by step. So first I will be running the necessary libraries for the project which is TensorFlow, CV2 and NumPy. In order to check if these uh, libraries are working, I have imported, I have actually read a file, uh, an image and I have displayed the image which is as follows. I have stored the data directory in data directory in the variable as shown here and the emotions seven emotions have been converted to a scale of zero to six in order to make it easier for the coding process now i will be reading all the images one by one Now to store the training data, I will be running the following code. So with this command, I have created the entire training data set. And here is the length of the training data. I will be shuffling the data so that the model doesn't learn the sequence. And now let me separate the features and the labels. So while training a new network, it is a very good option to normalize the data so that it speeds up the learning process and obtain a faster convergence. So I'll be normalizing the data by dividing it with 255.0. Since it's a very large data set, this process would take a small amount of time. Now I'll be converting the labels into an array. I'm making use of the mobile net v2 conversion neural network. I'll be defining the base input, the base output. I've already saved a model and uh, as the training of a model in a live video would take a lot of time. So I will be directly uploading the saved model. Now in order to test the model, I will be sh uh, showing you a demonstration. So I have saved an image which has the name tag hap.jpg. Now I will be reading the image and I've been, I'm making use of the hard cascade frontal face algorithm to detect the face. So I've, I've successfully deleted the face and now I will be cropping the face. So now let's test the model by predicting it. We can see that the array has various different values in which the third, uh, the value of the third index has the maximum value, which shows that the image belongs to the happy class. Now let me show you the live webcam implementation of this project. I will be taking off my glasses 
for a better output. So with this, the presentation is concluded. Thank you so much. Have a great day.